So my workspace is done. I've created all these activities and I have things ready to go. And I would like to share this workspace with my colleagues so that they can use it with their class. The best way to do that is for me to actually start by making a copy of my workspace. Instead of sharing with my group the original workspace with my colleagues, I'm gonna share with them a copy of my workspace. This is because I don't want them to accidentally delete anything out of the one that I've already made, and I don't want them to accidentally remove something um, that is useful for my students. So I'm gonna click on these three dots. I'm gonna click Copy Workspace. This might take a few minutes, especially if you have a lot of um, large files. So things like videos or images or um, activities that have a lot of graphics, that might take a couple minutes. Once the workspace is copied, you'll see that it tells me that it has been copied. I can go and view the copy. So I'm going to do that because I want to share the copy with my colleagues. So. I haven't assigned any classes. You can see I'm the only teacher in this one. So I would like to share this with my colleagues. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add teachers. Now you do have two options. You can either add teachers or you can share it publicly. I would only suggest sharing publicly and turning that on if you can ensure that you don't have any copyright resources in your uh, workspace and if you're okay with anybody in the world discovering this workspace. If that's the case, then you can take that link and you can just share it with whoever you want and they can make copies of that workspace. But if you've got some copyright materials in there, if you're doing something like this one has some My Blueprint budget lesson plans in it, um, because we at OCSB have an account with My Blueprint, I don't want to share that publicly because that would risk copyright infringement with My Blueprint. So this is my copy of my workspace. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to add a teacher and I'm going to add that teacher who I want to share this workspace with. As long as you put in their OCSB address properly, they should come up for, for you. And then you can hit add teacher. Now that that person is added, Stephanie could log in and she would find this workspace in her um, HAPRA dashboard under other workspaces. She then, all she needs to do is click up here, go to copy workspace and make her own copy of this workspace. What that will do is that's going to force a copy of everything that's in here, all of the activities, all of these cards will copy over and it'll force copies of these original templates, which is super important when we're creating a workspace. All she would then need to do is go into students and groups in her copy and find her classes and drag and drop those classes to create um, to create a group and to give her students access to that workspace. So she might get rid of this one because that's a class. That's the other class, so she's going to get rid of that. And she's just going to make sure that all of her students have been added. And then she'll go back to her workspace homepage. And of course, really important that we always hit that publish button so our students can access. 